my numbers were higher and I thought I had good skin, but your sagging is non-existent. Oh. We're here at CS 2020 with L'Oreal and they have just announced a new product called Perso. So it's this thing right here and what you can do is you can get personalized skincare, foundation, and lipstick with the help of AI, AR, and some other pretty cool hardware. So we're gonna go and try out a demo. Um, what we hope to create with Perso Skincare is the ability for you to use actual data that helps you adapt day to day and then become smarter when it comes to using your skincare over time. Would it be yeah. able to like tell like, oh, you're in a desert now. It's sure. As it's geolocation based in terms of the environmental data, it's easy because it can understand and adapt. You don't need to, again, buy a new product every time you go to a new city and a new place. The first step of it is that you turn on the application, it does an onboarding, and we have um, an AR and AI based um, skin measurement uh, part of it where it takes a photo of your face that has been annotated over 10,000 images with dermatologists, and it will give you like the state of your skin, like the radiance and the amount of fine lines and pores. And you have um, three way center. The first is through the trending looks powered by AI, as I mentioned, in terms of Instagram. The second is through creating your own shade and the third is uh, matching your look. So I'm gonna do one using the AI yeah. base and then I'll show you how the other one works, just so you know. You choose, um, do you want a nude one? Uh, or do you no, like a red like, one? I like a red. If you look at this right when I'm doing it, it will mm -hmm. dose it. And you just click and it will dose here. And then you just mix it here. And once you have that, then you can apply. Looks mm. really good on you actually. Yeah. yeah. And then the third piece is that you could take, if you wanted a picture, it would analyze and give you some shades that go well with that picture. That's the um, lipstick one. So I can show you the skincare one now. So um, the first step, as I mentioned, is that this is all that API that we have that's all software based that tells you about predictive algorithms in terms of your air quality. It's about a, an accuracy of five meters. In addition, if you happen to have a MySkinTrack UV, you could um, scan it onto the application. And um, I've been indoors all day, but it will stay at 14%. So you just click on this and it will tell you why it's doing it. So as it's a low humidity, it's gonna put more moisturizer. Mm -hmm. You don't have to put this whole thing in your um, purse. You can actually um, take it out and then attach it at the bottom and put it in your purse like this. And we try to make it as agile um, as possible. So you have that aspect. And then over time, what you do is you analyze your skin. So mm -hmm. you would take a photo of your face, three different photos. Um, if you move a little bit, there you go, and the other side. Um, and when all of that goes together, you save your progress. Cool, awesome, yeah. wow. I'm just glowing from my, my glowing. great. <laughs> great, well we're happy you are. <laughs> I thought the Perso sounded really cool on paper, but it turns out it's actually pretty awesome in person too. It blends together a lot of tech really seamlessly. You have AI, you have augmented reality, and even environmental data. And from a design perspective, it's pretty compact and cool, and I could see it saving a lot of space. Sometimes tech you see at CES is way more conceptual than something you might actually buy, but I could see this being really popular. L'Oreal didn't have a price for us just yet, but you can expect to see it sometime in 2021.